It's 12.01. Let's get started. We're going to do a little warm up today and then we'll get into some stretching. But the first thing I wanted to do is take a couple of deep breaths just to transition from um, the day that you've been having, hopefully an awesome one, to, you know, a little break time and then to refresh yourself for the rest of the day. So go ahead and take three deep breaths with me. They can be any type of breath that you'd like. So if you like alternate nostril breathing, if you like whatever, do that for yourself. I'm gonna do three volcano breaths, which means inhaling my arms all the way up to the top here, taking a little pause if I feel like it, and then exhaling arms all the way down and taking another little pause, again, if it feels good. Going at the pace of my own breath, not trying to control anything here. Just appreciate the fact that I'm still breathing. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. So hopefully you were able to get in a little bit of uh, just connection to your own self, your own breath, uh, just by taking those three breaths for yourself. Now we're gonna start doing a little bit of a warm up. So I'm gonna start off by actually clasping my hands, clasping my left wrist with my right hand, and then same on the other side, clasping the left wrist with the right hand. What we're gonna do is pull apart here. So if that hurts your shoulders, please don't pull apart or pull apart very gently. I'm going to pull apart just to start warming up my shoulder muscles, the muscles across the upper back. And then I'm going to start building in a little bit of movement. So still pulling apart, I'm gonna raise my arms up and I'm gonna drop them down. I promise this is not me being relaxed. This is relaxed, this is me pulling apart. And I'm just pulling against myself here. Just trying to get the juices flowing. Trying to strengthen some of my postural muscles. If you're ever doing this at home and you have a kitchen towel, it can be really nice to hold onto a kitchen towel instead so you aren't pulling on your own skin. But when we have no supplies, we just make do. Beautiful. Go ahead and flip your grip. So now I'm going to just switch my hand position a little bit, get a slightly different angle, and we'll go up and down a couple more times here. Warming up our upper body. Beautiful. Hopefully you're starting to feel a tiny bit of heat rising. Awesome. All right, from here, take a really nice big back stroke with one arm and then the other arm, just sort of a different way to shake it out. Relax those muscles that just worked for you. And when you're done that, we're gonna come into these, the T, Ys and Is. So I'm making a T position with my body right here. Um, my weight is evenly distributed throughout my feet. Uh, I have a nice, long, tall posture through my spine. My palms are facing up. My shoulders are dropped away from my ears. And I'm going to be pulsing my thumbs back towards the wall behind me. This doesn't really look like an exercise at all. <laughs> but we do have some resistance happening here. We have uh, our arms defying gravity, right? So the gravity wants to pull my arms down. They're staying up. Shoulders are staying down. Hands are staying up. I also have the resistance coming from the muscles across the front of my chest and into my biceps, resisting the muscles across my back that are trying to pull my hands back. So my shoulder blades are coming in towards each other. The uh, muscles across the backs of my shoulders are pulling my arms back here. And so the tightness of the front muscles is what's resisting the back muscles, if that makes sense. Beautiful. Take a little mini rest if you need to and then come up to a Y from the YMCA position. Uh, thumbs are still pointed back and we're going to be pulsing again. From neutral to pulling your hands back. Now, for many people, the Y position is the hardest position. 
the T is okay. And then when your arms are straight up, that's okay. But the Y can be really difficult. Just hang in there. Appreciate whatever micro movements your body is able to do. If you're able to get more than a micro movement, you know, pat on the back. That's awesome. And whenever you're ready, coming on up so you have that straight up and down eye position. And again, we're pulsing the arms back. You can't see it because they're a little cut off, but my hand, my palms are facing each other and my thumbs are back. If your body position doesn't look exactly like mine, that's okay. But we're striving for a long, tall spine. We're striving for the arms to come up here and for the shoulders to stay down. Beautiful. All right. Bring your arms down by your sides here. Take a few shoulder rolls just to relax those muscles that we're working. And then we're going to clasp our hands in front of our body, interlacing the fingers and pushing the hands away. From here, I'm sort of doing a relaxed hands away. What I want to do is I want to exaggerate that. So I'm pushing. Um, I'm rounding through my back and pushing my knuckles away from myself even further, allowing the shoulder blade to move away from the spine here. And then I'm going to bring my arms across my body. So I'm facing you. You could see that my arms are coming across my body towards the right a little bit. And I'm just going to lean into that. Even if I have to slouch a little bit more, do a little twist. I'm aiming for a stretch between that shoulder blade and the spine there. You could play with raising your shoulder, dropping your shoulder, finding that stretch. Nice, and come back up to center and we'll do the other side. Again, pushing the hands away a little bit further, rounding through the back. My right shoulder is slightly higher than the left to find that stretch for me. And we're bringing the arm across the body. Hopefully this feels excellent. Playing with those angles, finding that really great stretch and sinking into the stretch a little bit more. After you've been there for a minute, it might feel great to sink in a little bit deeper. Beautiful. Relax the shoulders again, coming back to neutral here and getting in a little wiggle break. And then I'm gonna take my hands and clasp them behind my back, bring the knuckles down. And from here, just roll the shoulders open. Doing a few rolls to start off with. If this is too intense, you can absolutely be reaching back behind you instead. If you've got back pockets, you can use those too. That might be a nice level to give yourself a little bit of leverage, but not have to be touching your hands together. You can also do a few neck rolls here, seeing how that feels with the hands clasped behind you. Nice. Beautiful. Let go of the hands. And now I'm going to reach my right arm up overhead, let it flop over at the elbow, and hold on to the elbow with the left hand, pulling myself into a nice stretch for my lats here. This muscle that comes down through the sides, it's a big back muscle. Um, and it has a lot of different roles. One of the things that it can do, though, when it's overactive or not balanced well by other muscles or there's some um, dysfunction happening is it can help pull you into this T-Rex kind of position that sometimes we type in all day. And so we're taking a moment to just relax and stretch it. You can add a little side bend here if it feels good. If you want to back off the stretch and you don't want to hold onto your elbow, you can hold onto your opposite wrist here. to enjoy that stretch rather than suffer through the stretch. So let's go to the other side. Now my left arm is up, holding onto that left elbow or left wrist. 
However the case is, spend a minute with that stretch and then sink into it. Now, if you're adding the side bend, you might wanna step your feet a little bit wider apart here, just so that you have a wider base to be stable from. Take a moment to experiment here. See what happens if you tip forward, tip back, tip to the side. Excellent. And pop on out. Bring your arms down slowly. And again, just continuing with those shoulder circles can be such a nice way to allow a little bit of movement and relaxation in between these stretches, especially if they get a little bit um, much for you or if you feel creaky coming out of them. Take a little wiggle break. All right, so now we want to take care of our neck a little bit more. And we're just going to start off nice and easy. Shaking your head now. And then working into that now a little bit further. So going a little bit wider and wider. So I'm looking over my left shoulder and then my right shoulder or whatever my maximum range of motion is here. And if it feels good, I can also pause and just hang out there. So uh, looking over my left shoulder right now, maybe I want to just inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist a little bit further. And then doing that for the other side as well. So hanging out, maybe getting some different angles, or just inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Beautiful. And coming back to center here, let's, uh, instead of shaking the head now, we're gonna nod yes. So looking up at the ceiling and down, starting off small and then growing the movement. Trying to feel a stretch through the back of your neck into the base of your skull as you drop your chin down. Trying to lengthen your chin up towards the ceiling as you look up. And if it feels good to pause and find a few different angles, respecting that feedback from your body and just taking the moment to do that. Beautiful. And now let's just relax the left ear towards the left shoulder, working in and out a few times if that feels nice. We're just settling in for a moment and reaching away with the right hand if you'd like a little bit more intensity. Come back up to center. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. In and out a few times again, especially if you did that on the first side. Beautiful, and then hanging out if it feels nice, reaching away with your left hand. Lovely. One last thing, we're just gonna unclench our jaw, and do a little tiny bit of self-massage, starting at the top of where your ear connects to your head, and working your way down. Through your jaw. Go over to the back of your neck and work your way down into your traps. Awesome. You guys did amazing. That's your upper body stretch break. You can end with a really deep breath 
in and a complete exhale out. Thank you all for joining me. I'm going to drop a little survey into the chat to see how we're doing with these. And I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. Take care, everybody.